everyone, Carlos here. So today I want to talk to you about a vulnerability that is being actively exploited against SharePoint on-prem. This vulnerability is for CVE 2025-53770. Uh, Microsoft has categorized this as a very high vulnerability with a CVS score of 8.8. .8. It is recommended that you patch as quickly as possible. Patches are available in the July patch Tuesday. So this vulnerability was originally demonstrated in Pontuon, Berlin, 2025 in May. Microsoft addressed this vulnerability in their patch Tuesday for the month of July, 2025. There was a series of blog posts and research that was being put out there on this vulnerability and how it could be exploited. Most of the attacks are actually coming from US-based IP addresses. As mentioned before, this affects on-prem SharePoint only, not SharePoint Online or 365. The way that this exploit works is that there's a specific request to toolpane.asp.x and what happens is that they steal the cryptographic keys specifically the validation key and the decryption key and they use both of these keys to then create a malicious view state payload uh, this results in full compromise of the server itself uh, one of the things that we are seeing is during uh, the attack attackers are dropping web shells so that is one of the indicators of compromise that you should be looking in addition to anybody trying to access the toolpane.asp.x there have been some reports so far of some government agencies that have been uh, subjected to wiper attacks and suspected that it has come from the exploitation of this vulnerability itself. CISA has added this vulnerability into its known exploit vulnerability catalog, KEF. As we can see here. So my recommendation is patch as quickly as possible using your July patch Tuesday uh, patches that Microsoft put out. In addition to that, start performing threat hunts to see if anybody has accessed this specific path, if any new suspicious processes have been created on the machine under the context of the service for which SharePoint's running under. In addition, uh, do check for any web shells that may have been dropped inside of the folder created in the last couple of weeks. And I hope that uh, if you don't have your SharePoint exposed out there, please don't. SharePoint should never be out there on the internet. So I hope that you found this information useful, and I hope to see you in the next video.